take a deep breath. And relax. Take a few more deep breaths like that. Visualize your heart energetically, not so much your physical heart, but around the heart area. Visualize a bright green sphere like a ball of energy that is slowly expanding. until it reaches beyond your rib cage, beyond your skin line. Continues to expand until this green radiant sphere of purity encompasses most of the torso, some of the neck, And it continues to expand until it encompasses your belly button in your head. Watch it further expand till it includes and exceeds the outline of your whole body until essentially you are standing inside of your heart where your whole body is now situated inside of this sphere. And somehow try to cultivate that feeling as if your body is rested within your heart chakra, your heart consciousness, if you will. So that every portion of you as an individual, including your bodily cells and nervous system and all that, but also your personal thoughts, this little character walking around this planet is entirely encompassed by, in a sense, a protective field made of your own self, made of love, made of compassion, So from the point of view of your body, you can now feel this heart chakra surrounding you instead of being localized within your body. It now surrounds you, it's carrying you, almost like a spaceship kind of a field within which there is no gravity, as if you are suspended, floating within this sphere of the heart. And almost as if it could take you anywhere to any space and any time just by thought alone. Where you are protected from any particular space-time reality, this bubble, this sphere, separates you from any particular space-time reality and allows you to traverse, to shift, to, in a sense, travel, metaphysically speaking, to any particular space-time reality or timeline, if you will, where you can witness any event across space and time that you so choose to observe, whether it be past or future, far or near, all the while being basked in this energy of love, being protected in by this sphere of 
your own heart, your own metaphysical heart surrounding your entire experience of the body. Like a little home, a metaphysical, spherical home. And let yourself be taken somewhere, not randomly, intelligently, but without your choosing, without your conscious picturing. Just, in a sense, let your higher self, while you are held within this sphere of love, let your higher self surprise you. Let it whoop, shift you, zip you, zoom you into a different space-time reality and hold no expectations of what you see, of what you receive, of what you glimpse. Just let it come exactly as it wants to come with no judgment and let that play itself out spontaneously for a minute or so. Just see, what am I seeing here? What am I sensing? How am I feeling here? Knowing that it's got some kind of a message for you. That is relevant for your particular physical space-time reality right now. But you're getting it from elsewhere. You're practicing expanding your horizons, so to speak, to receive information from different levels of consciousness, or you could say dimensions, different timelines, and allowing that information which is relevant for you here now to live your incarnation on Earth to the utmost from these other places, if you will. It's still obviously all within the one infinite creator, and it is ultimately within your own consciousness. But we use the permission slip of other spaces and times or information from elsewhere. We use that idea, that notion, that symbolic concept to receive information that is relevant for us now in our physicalized experience. So let yourself be zipped to some kind of a location, to some kind of a scenery, some situation or perhaps some kind of a dimension. It might seem different than you're used to. It might feel different. Maybe there's no specific form at all. Maybe it's just a domain of light or a particular color or a particular feeling. That's fine too. Or maybe you'll see something highly specific and crystallized. That is fine too. Hold no expectations and hold no judgment. Just be a neutral receiving observer, letting your higher self take you on a tiny little trip of symbolic data that is relevant for you right now. So again, don't try, you just let it happen. Like a blank, empty heart space that suddenly shows you something. And when you get some sense, some picture perhaps, some symbol or some event, stay with it. Without expectation, just stay present to it.
understanding that you are now in communication with your own higher self. And next, to ask your higher self, what do I need most right now? And on the count of zero, you let that word, that concept, that energy state, appear. So, ask yourself, what do I need most right now? In other words, what should I focus on? What should I prioritize? What perhaps attitude or state of mind or what type of focus? In other words, in short, what do I need most right now? Three, two, one. And trust whatever you receive. And for the next few days, prioritize your focus on this. Take a deep breath and sign off with a sense of gratitude. Maybe picture holding your left hand on your heart, or you can actually do it physically too. And just like you would say goodbye to someone on the phone in a kind, loving way. Similarly, you sign off on this communication with your higher self with a sense of gratitude, thankfulness. Thank you and until we speak again. And take another deep breath and come back into the here and now of your present incarnation. <sighs>